Hey, this is George G. Welcome to George G's Room of Rock. How's everyone doing out there today? Hope everyone's doing well. It's a weekend here. and we do It's a weekend where you guys are. I hope the weather's nice. This is a rainy, crappy day here in the Northeast, but kind of needed to rain, so it's it's okay. Um, all right, so if you're watching my stuff, I'm up to 1985 with my 15 favorite albums of, uh, you know, each year. So 1985 we're up to. And what I want to do before I do, I'm gonna have three honorable mentions plus my 15. Is last week I did 1984, and for some reason I left one off because I thought it was 1985, and it's killing me that I left it off. And I had to mention it because it was Metal Church's debut. Because I absolutely love this album, but I missed it in the I don't know why I thought it was 85, but it was 84. But the whole album is such a classic album. The opening track, and um, let me get my glasses on. Metal Church, of course, Merciless Death and Gods of Wrath. And the Blood, my favorite nightmare. Battalions, it's one of my favorite albums ever. And I'm sorry I missed up. I left it off the list. Someone, a couple people mentioned it on there. I just want to thank them for putting it on their list because I would, I don't know why I would have thought it was 85. So, but it happens, you know, I'm only human. All right, so here we go. We're going to do my three auto matches real quick for 1985. Then we'll get on with the list. So, first one is maybe people will may scoff at and laugh at. But I'd like the album. I like the first four albums by the band. It's, Bon Jovi, 7800 Fahrenheit. So that's one honorable mention. The first four albums are good. Sorry. Second one, second two, I hate to leave off the list, but, you know, like I said, I have so many I've missed anyway. But Halloween, Walls of Jericho, another classic debut from the band. And the honorable mention is Dio, Sacred Heart. I hate to leave Dio off, but those other albums I just like better. So there's my honorable mentions. And now we'll go on with the list here. All right, coming in, the number. 15 is Metal Heart by Accept. A little bit, maybe some people liked, uh, thought it was a little bit, maybe a little downward than, than a, a balls, from Balls to the Wall and uh, Restless Wild, but uh, Restless and Wild. But um, I think it's a great album, and most people do. And the title track is on a Midnight Move, I really like Up the Limit, Screaming for a Love Bite, a little commercial, but it really is a good track. Too High to Get It Right, Dogs on Leads, and uh, Living for Tonight, love those two tunes. Great album. Solid album. That's my number 15. My number 14 is Loudness, Thunder in the East. I think this is their American debut. But I had a few more albums before that. Uh, but it says Crazy Nights, Like Hell, uh, Run For Your Life, Clockwork Toy, No Way Out I Love. Another great, great album. Um, what's his name? Uh, Akari Takasaki. He's such an amazing guitar player. So yeah, Loudness. Thunder East, that's my number 14. Number 13 is um, the debut from this band, and I absolutely love this album. It's more raw, um, but it's creator, Endless Pain. Love the title track. I love the uh, Total Death. Hold on, let me get a better look at it. Tormentor, Son of Evil, Cry War, uh, Living in Fear. Great, great debut. Great band. They've gone some such great things, but yeah, that's my number uh, 13. Is uh, Endless Pain. Number 12 is uh, Switching Gears a bit. But I love the album too. It's not a very super heavy album. But it's a really good one. That's The Cult. Love. Um, Big Neon Glitter. The song Love. Brother Moon. Sister, uh, Brother Wolf. Sister Moon. Rain. Love is the Phoenix. Hollow Man. Revolution. I love Revolution. This one actually. This one has uh, She Sells Sanctuary. They're, they're big hit. They always play on the radio. And Sears. Whatever. Great album. The Cult Love. That's my number uh, 12. Number 11 is uh, one of my favorite ones by This Man. And one of the great album too. And that's Rise, uh, anything else he's Rising Force, Marching Out. I'll See the Light Tonight. Uh, great. Disciples of Hell. I'm a Viking. On the Run Again, Soldiers Without Fear. Caught in the Middle. Title track, Marching Out. Fantastic album by Yngwie. His early stuff was so good, couldn't be matched, really. His early stuff. He's a little crazy after after a while, but he did put a quality material. So, anyway, Eagle Maniac, too, you know. <laughs> 11. Number 10 is uh, this one by another band. Maybe you don't go scoff at it. I love the band. I love the album, too. And that's uh, Striper, S Soldiers Under Command. The title track is another fantastic song. Um, makes you want to sing. The Rock That Makes You Roll, Reach Out, great heavy songs, um, Surrender, great good stuff. I like the album. It's really good. Stripers are always one of the bands I really like. People kind of laugh at sometimes, but I always like Striper a lot, so I don't care. 
great album, Mr. Monday, number 10. Number 9, another switching gears again, but another great album, and they're, you know, my favorite by the band here. And that's Celtic, Celtic Frost, sorry, Celtic Frost. Not Celtic, I'll still keep Celtic, it was Celtic Frost. Uh, into the, into two, two Megatherion. Um, the Usurper, the Usurper Jewel, Jewel Throne. Eternal Summer, it's one of the songs that really got me into the band, is the song Eternal Summer. Circle of the Tyrants. Excellent album. This their top notch for, for Celtic Frost. Great album. So that's my number uh, nine. Number eight is another band a friend of mine, Mike, got me into. And they just actually announced their retirement because they're, you know, because the drummer got, uh, was, uh, had a heart attack on stage a couple months ago. And that band is Kicks. He's okay, though. They're still playing. Um, Midnight Dynamite. Love the album. Love the album cover. Uh, the, album, the song, Midnight, Midnight Dynamite. Bang Bang, Balls of Fire. Laying rubber, Scarlet Fever, Cold Shower, Lie Like a Rug. They're still they're, they're they're a very quirky band, quirky band, live quirky band with the music, but I really love them. So, kicks us off. So I've seen them live once. Really good stuff. So that's my uh, number eight. <clears throat> number seven is by this uh, one of the big four. It's Anthrax, spreading the disease. Of course, you have to have on this list for this 1985. AIR, Lone Justice, Madhouse. Come on, great song there. Aftershock, Armed and Dangerous, Medusa, Gung Ho. Great stuff, great album cover too. Classic cover. There you go. <clears throat> That's my number seven. Number six is um, second full relief, release from this band. Another great band come, who I heard are coming out with a new album, which I cannot wait for. Sabotage, Power of the Night. Again, title track. Warriors, Washed Out, Hard for Love, Skull Session, Stuck on You. Freaking great album. Great band. Early stuff again. Early first couple albums were great. They anyway, would be a little downward of the late album, but you know, they have a classic one coming up soon. So there you go. Power of the Night. It's number six. Number five. There's another album that maybe people don't people don't like too much, but I always liked it. I always put it up pretty high. I think maybe because it's the first new album by them when they came out, I bought it new. And it's actually hanging on the wall behind me, and it's Motley Crue, Theater of Pain. I always like this one. City Boy Blues is one of the best songs they ever wrote. I like the cover, Smoking in the Boys and Me. It gets overplayed. Love Louder Than Hell. Keep Me Eye on the Money. Home Sweet Home, you overplay it again, but it's still a great song. Tonight We Need a Lover, one of my favorite songs on here. Use It or Lose It. Fight for Your Rights. It's a good album. I know people put it down, but maybe the production is a little thin, but I always liked it. So that's my number five. Number four is the debut from this, no, the one of the big four. Megadeth, Killing Is My Business. Business is good. Last Rites Left to Death. Of course, the title track. Cold, Skull Me, the, the Skin, right? Those, these boots. I like these boots. It's a silly cover. Actually, don't mind it. Rattlehead, Chosen Ones, Looking Down the Cross. The whole thing is just a classic. Maybe it's a little wrong, a little wrong with the uh, production, but still a great album. So, yep, Megadeth. That's my number four. Uh, at least three more. Number three and number two, I could probably flip-flop them. Kind of did this order, but... It's a debut from Overkill, Feel the Fire, Raise the Dead Rotten to the Core, uh, Hammerhead, Feel the Fire, the title track, Button Iron Killing Command, the title track, Overkill for the, the band, awesome freaking album, great album cover too with the fire and everything, awesome song, awesome album. And number two, which one I could have tied it with, uh, is Slayer, Hell Awaits, gotta have this on here, probably both people put this number one and you're not wrong, but. There's another one that beats it out. You might be surprised what it is. But this is, of course, Hell Awaits Kill Again. <clears throat> at Dawn They Sleep. I love At Dawn They Sleep. Um, Crips of Eternity, Harding of the Arteries. Classic, classic album cover, too, by him. Awesome. Slayer. Hell Awaits. And my favorite one of 1985. This one may surprise someone, but this is the first time I bought that. It's by this band. And I always just like this one. Something about this one just was my favorite album by them. One of my favorites. And it's Wasp, The Last Command, my top one for 1985. I just love it. Wild Child, Ball Crusher, Fistful of Diamonds, Widowmaker, Blind in Texas, the famous song, Cries in the Night, The Last Command, Running Wild in the Streets, and yeah, Sex Drive. It's a little silly Sex Drive, but last, best, The Last Command and uh, Running Wild in the Streets are two of my favorite songs by, by Wasp. So, yeah, that is my uh, list for 1985. I'm trying to think of my list. What else I did put in? So many of this. I got so many here that I did not put on here on my list here. But, uh, like I said, I can't put everything, but, uh, you guys will help me fill in the blanks with, uh, your, your suggestions, what you like. So, uh, 
definitely put them in the comments what you like and what you didn't like and what I missed because I missed a lot. You know I did. Um, so that's it. Um, so that's it for the 1985. So hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and keep rock and metal alive. We'll see you next time.